hey everyone my name is kayla welcome to my channel if you are new and if you're returning welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this stapled split nose this is like a fall glam gone wrong um i think this is pretty beginner friendly so if you want to learn how i achieved this look just continue watching so i'm starting out with my eyebrows already done um all of the products will be listed down below so check that out um yeah so i'm going ahead with my la girl pro concealer in the shade porcelain um like i do in every video i'm gonna just let this get a little dry then i'm gonna go ahead tap the product around my eyelid as i'm doing right now and then i'm gonna go ahead and set it with my air spun powder So I'm starting off with the Zulu palette. I'm taking this yellow shade, first row in the middle, and I'm going to be applying that above my crease. Um, I'm going to try to take up as much eyelid space as I can with this yellow on both eyes. So when I'm finished with that, I'm going to come back. But that's done i'm gonna take the orange shade in the same palette and i'm gonna put this color in my crease i've mentioned this before and i will say it as many times as i need to when you're working with these kind of colors these bright colors you want to pack the color on so it's sped up but you i'm packing the color like literally going in and pat 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 with the color and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend it because if you just go in and start blending the shade in it's gonna be very very sheer like the pigment is not going to show and these colors this palette is very pigmented so trust me the color and pigment is there so make sure you pat the color first then go in and blend Now I'm taking my new palette, the Beat Zone palette by Beats by Deb and Playing the Makeup by Yolando and I'm using the shade Juicy 
and again it's an orange shade bright orange shade and i'm gonna apply that on top of the first orange shade that i applied from juvia's place um i just did a whole video on this palette so yeah check that out i'm gonna leave it in the cards above and down in the description For the last shade, I'm using the Morphe 35V palette and I'm going to be taking the shade in the zone and which is like a brownish orange color and I'm going to place that all over my eyelids. Um, at first, I didn't know like what I was really going to do with this look, but putting it all over my eyelid came out good. So yeah, I just stuck with that and I'm going to do that of course on both eyes. I've placed the color on both eyes. I'm just going in and blending out the edges on both eyes. You want to make sure that you do this because you don't want to just have the color just sitting there all harsh. You want to make sure you blend, blend, blend. For eyeliner today, I'm switching it up. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner. Um, as you can see, I was trying to get it to focus, but it really wasn't cooperating with me. So yeah, that was a fail, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line across my eyelid. I'm not doing a wing today just because I wanted to keep it simple because the main focus is of course my nose that I'm going to get to once I finish this.
to begin my nose i am using the benai nose and scar wax i was actually able to find this in a shade that was close to mine um i know it looks like it's not of course you know but once i apply like my makeup and stuff like it'll be it's, it'll blend well so i'm just gonna scoop up a little bit with my fingers and roll it into like a hot dog looking shape and i'm not gonna lie this is very 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 sticky um eventually i will go in with some oil to help me blend it into my skin a little bit better but it is hard to work with like it really is so take your time with this take your time with this um i did see somebody do this look and they use liquid latex to help stick it to their face uh maybe i should have done that i don't know but it still came out good you just have to really take your time with it um yeah i will leave the link to this down below though so i'm just gonna go in and smooth out the edges and try to make it um as smooth as possible i'm just carving my nose just following the shape i'm not creating anything just again i just applied it to the bridge of my nose and i'm just smoothing it down that's it after struggling with the wax i finally got it to stick on my nose and be smooth the way i need it to so i'm just gonna go in finish the rest of my face and i will come right back to show you how i finished the look so now that i've finished my entire face um i'm using these small scissors to cut down the middle of the scar wax um you're gonna see this really um fall apart and not stick to my face and it's it's gonna be a big old mess but like my school says you gotta find a way to make one so again just cutting down the middle and that's gonna create the illusion of like the split nose of course um after i am gonna go in with some jojoba oil you can use like coconut oil jojoba oil vitamin e oil olive oil i don't know whatever oil you have um just put like a drop on your finger and this is gonna help smooth it out of course the oil kind of messed up my makeup just a little bit not a lot just a little but then i'm gonna go in with my powder brush with um i don't even think i tapped into my face powder I think I just used like what was that, whatever was on the brush and just to mattify that oily the oily areas. So next I'm gonna use some face paint. Um I got this from Amazon, I'll link it down below. Um and I'm just gonna mix the black and red shade. And I'm just going to go down the middle of the nose. I don't know why I thought this was going to work with this small little slit that I had. 
but um yeah this whole thing is like gonna fall apart and then like we're gonna have to move it to the a little bit further apart from each other just so that i get a wider opening uh you can see here like the whole thing just fell off but um yeah i just put a little bit on the f like i don't even know how to explain it oh my god i just moved it further apart i moved the two pieces further apart so that i can get a better opening for my nose and i'm again mixing the red and the black face paint together and then i'm putting it on the bridge of my nose and also like on the outside of the scar wax And now I'm just going in with some fake blood. Again, I will leave the link um, for all this stuff down below. Um, the stipple sponge, I'm using that as well. That came with the blood. So yeah, oh, this, this is also from Amazon. So again, I'll leave it down below. And I'm just gonna stipple the blood all over my face. I think when you use the stipple um, sponge, it gives it Mm, more natural effect than if you were to use like a cotton swab which i'm gonna do just to get the middle of my nose but it leaves big blotches so i think the stipple sponge is definitely something like if you want to do like halloween makeup with fake blood definitely look into this stipple sponge So at this point, I'm going to take some staples and I'm just going to use like a pointed set of tweezers and I'm just going to push the staples into the wax. Um, you can put them however you want, you can crisscross them, diagonal. I didn't do mine straight, I did definitely did some diagonal just to give it that cool effect, you know what I'm saying? But do what you want, do how, um, make it how you want to do it. Um, Sorry about the ink, I'm kind of low because I'm always like looking down and forget like I have to look up at the camera. But yeah, everybody's, you know, design is going to come out different. So just do it how you want to do it. And so now I'm going in with a little bit more blood because of course if this happened in real life like you know your face would be like drenched in blood so I'm just going around my nose and mouth area 
with some more blood i'm also gonna um use a pipette that i have and to pour like put nose down the bridge of my nose because the staples were there it was kind of hard to get um blood there and with this blood it dries pretty fast so you're gonna constantly see me go back and apply more but this is just so that it gives a um a fresh effect because once it dries it looks like a dark red and it just looks it doesn't look the same with um fresh blood so you're constantly gonna see me go back and add more blood So now that I'm finished with my nose, I'm just going to apply some lashes. These lashes are from the Beauty Supply Store. And yeah, nothing special. But talking about lashes, I will be dropping lashes soon on Black Friday. Y'all know I always leave my website down below. So you can check that out. And if you want to get updates about the lashes and when they're going to drop, make sure you're following me on Instagram, which of course I will also leave down below. While I'm waiting for my eyelash glue to dry on the other lash, or get tacky I should say, um, I'm just taking that same brown shade which was from the Morphe 35V palette in the zone and I'm just applying that under my eye. I didn't even put mascara, I didn't put no eyeliner, I didn't do anything. I literally just put lashes on and was like, this looks good enough. Again, just going in with more blood to freshen it up because again like I said this stuff does dry really 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 fast um, but yeah this is when I use the um, pipette to just apply the blood in the middle of my nose and just make it as bloody as possible like I said everybody's look is gonna come out different so get creative and do it how you want to do it I turned down the light a little bit just so you know could give it that feel but that is the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did um, it's always good to add some you know fresh fake blood because it does start to look like dried out after a while so yeah all of my social medias will be down below my website will be down below y'all know the deal don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out my other videos and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.